to take a drink before this one what's up everybody watching this video has been roughly a year in the making for me and it is probably a damn good thing that it has been because it's taken me about a year to absorb the hype that this is actually happening we're going to be finally reacting to warcraft 3 reforge which blizzard says will be released by the end of 2019 which is coming very soon so i thought it would be a great idea to get this out at this point in time now warcraft 3 in general has been one of my favorite games if not my favorite game of all time reign of chaos frozen throne that's what got me absolutely claws in hook to the blizzard product the rts aspect of the game was absolutely amazing we can get into that even more down the line because i'm sure this video will turn into a monologue about this game i love the hero concept that they implemented into this game into warcraft 3 something that starcraft still has yet to do you might want to take notice blizzard because i was waiting for some heroes in starcraft 2 after warcraft 3 and we never got that but anyway before we get completely off track on this hype train here I want to show you guys something before I take a look at the trailer that I've seen 8,256 times probably since 2002 when Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos was released. This is how big of a fan I am of this game. Um, well, we have this one here too, but let's get started here. We got the original copy right here. This is the original box for Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos. I had this one, got the orc copy, absolutely loved it. Look, even the sticker is still on it. Comp USA. Comp USA. Does that place even exist anymore? So I believe there was four boxes that came out of this. One was Orcs. We'll drop that down. Now I've probably broken this product many times because of the RTS part of it, where you just chuck the CD against the wall because you lost a bad Battle.net game. It happens. We've all been there. So I have additional copies. I have the undead version of the original Reign of Chaos, which I absolutely love having. And I mean. I don't regret doing that kind of stuff anymore, so that's pretty sick. Also, the original Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne box. I have kept all of these for years. I mean, I should have shown you guys the back. Let's just do it, right? Why not? Same thing. But it is really nice in 2019 to have these boxes from 2002 and 2003 when Frozen Throne was released. I mean, I've lost, like I said, lost many copies. It gets even worse here. We got the battle chest with the strategy guide. So this game holds a dear place in my heart. Now, I haven't seen the HD version of the Warcraft 3 Reforged trailer, so that's going to be new to me, but I do know what happens in the trailer, and... After that, I think we should discuss it a little bit further after we go finally take a look at the trailer because just thinking at this point, seeing these cinematics that I've seen in 2002 redone in HD, this game redone in HD, this is going to be absolutely amazing, at least for me. It's going to be a trip down memory lane and probably the go-to Blizzard game for me going forward. We'll talk a little bit more about this game after, but now we're going to take a look at the trailer for Warcraft 3 Reforged from BlizzCon 2018. Transition on over. Well, it's time to take a stroll down memory lane here, so let's get ready. Warcraft 3 Reforged cinematic trailer from BlizzCon 2018. Here we go. About time. We never paid any heed to the ancient prophecies. As always, orcs versus humans. Like fools, we clung to the old hatreds. And fought as we had for generations. You can definitely see a difference in the graphics. I watched the previous trailer from back in 2002 before this, and there's quite a sad difference, and I'm liking it so far. Until yeah. the day the sky rained fire, and the new enemy came among us. He 
key words right there. New enemy came among us. We're still dealing with that. Burning Legion, boys and girls. Here we go. This was the introduction to Infernos. It was pretty sexy in this back in the day. We stand now upon the brink of destruction, for the reign of chaos has come at last. Just gonna sit there and absorb it for a second. Coming in 2019. Like I said earlier in this video, they said it will be out by the end of 2019. So by January 1st, I expect to be playing some full-blown Warcraft 3 Reforged. Now, thinking back, looking at this trailer, it's pretty sick. Because this was the introduction to the Burning Legion into the Warcraft universe. And also the Night Elves and the Undead. All three races, Night Elves, Undead, and Burning Legion, have had huge staple effects in the game in World of Warcraft going forward and <clears throat> the story mode in this game basically explained and developed the undead, night elves, and burning legion. It was where it all started. I think the story in Warcraft 3 is, what, what can you say, it led to World of Warcraft and the story from Warcraft 3 is still carrying over into World of Warcraft. We have Lich King and Sylvanas in our last World of Warcraft Shadowlands trailer who were two key characters that were developed in Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne. So having this game be remade in 2019 is one of the greatest things I've ever seen. When we had StarCraft remastered and other games that were getting remastered, I've said it in videos before, I thought this was a lead up to Warcraft 3 to see how well the remastered games do before we put the big dog out. Because I honestly can't think of too many Blizzard games that compete with it at this point in time at least back in the day there was starcraft back then but when this came out it kind of dwarfed starcraft and i remember even playing this back in the day in the rts mode where there is a 1500 win thing where you have to get you get an eladin icon on the side of your character for winning 1500 games in random they had this kind of thing for every race where it was 1500 wins 750 wins could be wrong, I think it's 500, 250, and 50. You got an icon and a picture in the RTS when you won games. So, I do remember this. World of Warcraft, the original, came out, right? And I bought World of Warcraft, the original. I didn't play it for nine months because I was so damn determined to get that random Elodin icon for the RTS Battle.net part of this that it took me nine months to play World of Warcraft pretty crazy how that went. I really got my claws into World of Warcraft in Burning Crusade. Now the battle net aspect of this game, as I just brought up, was absolutely amazing and I was so happy to see it because of this one right here. You have Warcraft 2. Now I remember this was the originator of 1v1 games and 2v2 games on Battle.net. We were doing this on dial-up AOL. So when you finally, you only had the two races, the orcs and the humans, and it was fun as hell to do. When you came over to Warcraft 3, you got your hero concept, which I still think is one of the best concepts for an RTS game. I loved that and did not like it that StarCraft 2 didn't have it. It just amplified the RTS feel to it and got me absolutely hooked into this game. Oh, it's an, it's, I just can't wait. I mean, I'm, I would like to talk more about it, but how many spoilers do we want to throw out here? I don't want to throw out too many spoilers for those of you who have not played this game, because I think it is absolutely worth playing storyline-wise. RTS is going to be disgustingly competitive, in my opinion, because I have been playing beta for this game since it came out. You would think you would play, like, World of Warcraft... Overwatch, do something like that. No, we're hooked on Warcraft 3 Reforged Beta. Right now, it looks amazing. You got three races in there. You got the Orcs, Humans, 
and Undead. Night Elves haven't been put in, Random hasn't been put in yet. And I think the game is coming along quite nicely. Haven't played any storyline missions yet, but oh, that's going to be... A, I can't wait to replay the storyline missions. See the cinematics redone in HD. See the characters redone in HD. Just seeing this game remade... is one of my favorite things that Blizzard's ever done, to be honest. And I can't wait to see the people who didn't get to grow up with this game. When you finally get it in your hand, you get to play the RTS aspect and the story aspect. I hope everyone enjoys the game, at least to the degree that I did, or gets a much better feel for the story, because there's nothing like playing through that story over and over again. I've played through that story more times than I can count. And the story led to WoW. So if you want to learn a lot about WoW, this is the game you want to play. I always recommend it. Well, anyway, I'm going to ramble and ramble and ramble on about this game until my face is blue. And this is going to end up being a 22-minute video of me going down memory lane. So I want to save some of those things for another video. Look at it, like I said, I didn't think it was going to be a trailer reaction. I thought it was going to be a monologue, and I'm quite happy this came out this way. And we're going to be seeing this game soon. Let me know in the comment section what your thoughts are of Warcraft 3 Reforged. Let me know if you played Warcraft 3 Reign of Chaos, Warcraft 3 Frozen Throne, Warcraft 2 where you had the old Battle.net days, the start of the Battle.net days. Let me know that. <sighs> Even looking at the side of it, I'm like the origins of pretty much every character. So many characters started here. Kael Thas, I'm thinking. Like Lady Vosh. It's just sick. Kill Jaden. The list is pretty much endless. Play the game. Subscribe to my channel. Because that's what everybody has to say at the end of videos, right? It's just the thing you say. So you go ahead and do that. But I'd rather leave, you leave me a comment and tell me what you think about this game. Do you intend to play it? Leave me some memories of your time playing it. And let's go from there. Well, it's amazing. We finally got a video done. It only took a year to get this out. So, on that note, everyone, I hope I will see you in the next video. Have a good day or night, wherever you are. Later. We stand now upon the brink of destruction. For the reign of chaos has come at last.